The sudden U-turn of the zero COVID policy by the Chinese Communist Party has caused a strong outbreak of the disease. This has made China's consumer market even more damaged. CNBC's report on January 8th pointed out that it will take a long time for Chinese consumers to really start spending as they did before the pandemic. Timothy Chung, a cafeteria owner in Guangzhou, said that although his cafeteria's food service has been operating for about a month, revenue is still only 50 percent of what it used to be. He added that his coffee shop sales had dropped 30 percent from their normal level in the past six months. Timothy said passenger numbers started to pick up slightly in late December, but he estimates it will take at least three or four months for revenue to return to normal. Official data shows that China's retail sales fell slightly in 2022 through November. Consumption has fallen relative to overall economic growth since the pandemic began nearly three years ago in the country. According to a survey by the People's Bank of China, Chinese consumers' willingness to save reached an all-time high last year. China's regime reopened its borders on January 8th. However, Chen Xin, China travel and entertainment analyst at UBS Securities, said that Chinese travel overseas is unlikely to increase around early April. Chen Xin predicts that the hotel business in China will not return to 2019 levels until the end of this year.